Test Drive Unlimited, Solar Crown, the winter trailer. That's the Porsche Taycan right there. We are going off-road with this trailer. All the trailers are kind of demonstrating a different type of play. Look how tight some of these off-road paths are. Some of the actual road paths are very similar in time terms of like width which is proper exciting especially for like exploration and stuff now in some of the screenshots i wonder if we'll get to see in the trailer this porsche taycan is using off-road tires you saw it right there off-road tires in the porsche taycan unless you want to go around in a big old truck and you know live your american freedom my freedom dream all the car the cars are being driven by different characters i noticed as well it's a road sign this is a road what the heck <laughs> but honestly from my experiences with the game so one of my favorite parts of it was the exploration elements and that's the same with all test drive games and i'm really really looking forward to going off road in these areas with friends and of course discovering some hidden things we'll talk about that once we get to the article but some of my favorite moments from playing oh, you've got to let us buy these houses You've got to let us buy these houses at some point. They mentioned that at launch, it's all about the solar hotel, but we got, we got those houses are too beautiful not to try, not to claim them. That looks like a money collectible. So there's some encouragement in terms of money, but there are also collectibles in terms. Hey, you know what that means? You know exactly what that means. Collectibles in terms of the cars, the Rex. <sighs> Is there a release date? We're shortly close to the release date. There's no release date. <laughs> Damn, I was kind of expecting a release date. However, I think overall, this might be one of my favorite trailers in terms of what they're showcasing. I feel like in the most recent trailers, they've been showing the exploration. Uh, they've been showing the cruising around the map, which is core test drive elements. That's basically what they're showing here. They're getting through all of them. Of course, they've got a photo mode. We can take beautiful pictures and beautiful locations. Of course, we bloody can. You can build a game that look like this uh, and do that. Beautiful blue water. The models are super nice. We've actually got some details about the car models. I just thought you missed something. Right, you look. You missed that money. <laughs> Something that games really struggle to do is get me to explore. So I really hope, actually, it has proper, proper incentives to get people to explore. Maybe some extra hidden events and stuff further down. And of course, the big thing is cars to discover. That is a proper collectible. That is super important. I'm kind of fed up with just driving around and... For the sake of exploring, you gotta, you gotta give me some gameplay with it. Collectibles, like money and stuff, they ain't proper... They ain't gameplay. Give me, give me reason to do it. I'm working for something. Give me something to work for. Well, let's delve into this then because there are some important points, mainly talking about the always online requirement for this game. It's a bit of a touchy subject considering that the crew, which is, well, a test drive kind of clone, and then maybe one day Need for Speed 2015, someday soon, hopefully not, please don't, making the games always online I have now just decided it's a terrible idea. <laughs> I get it during the time that the game is here, but Gran Turismo is the only game I can know from some common times that added an offline patch before it was deceased. If they don't do this, I'm gonna be a little bit... So the trailer we just saw is all about the exploration. Picture perfect postcard locations. From beaches to forests to mountains, Hong Kong Island has many different landscapes to explore. That I can confirm. Alone or with friends, you can set out to find nearly 300 collectibles, including rewards like solar coins, reputation, clan influence, and special objects. Are you going to have to let me know what them special objects are? What would you mean special objects? And of course, you'll be able to discover wrecked cars. That, that is discovering. That is exploration. That is what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure those are going to be the most crazy 
in terms of customization. Okay, maybe not customization, but versions. It's pretty obvious that this is how it always works. Once you've discovered all the parts that are scattered around the island, you get to claim the cars. Oh, the more observant of you have noticed the absence of particle effects, especially dust and splashes on gravel roads. We're still working on integrating and optimizing these effects. But I did notice in the trailer here that you see the water splash effect. That's pretty cool. But the main thing I noticed is where the car drives, the road tracks are super, super good. Like they're properly nicely done, embedded into the sand just a little bit to show you where you've been driving. That's a really cool thing. I know the majority of the games do it, but I think they've done a really good job. It's like a nice little indent because this is clearly a path that people have driven on, but you would definitely notice as you've just driven through it. And then if you're on a beach, it's a lot deeper. For example, on this picture of the Porsche Taycan that's in reverse, <laughs> you can see the tracks and you can actually see where it, you've kind of steered over the top of one of the other tracks. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like maybe cambered the wheel up. It was, it's, it's, it's pretty neat. Kind of curious. Can you just bash through that water and like, psh, psh, psh. I really hope you can. It doesn't just do like a uh, too deep reset. That ain't no deep water. You are not fooling me. <laughs> Our current development goal for this is to find the best performance between particle effects and performance to ensure smooth gameplay remains a priority. Of course, we saw in one of the earlier trailers builds that they did, the game wasn't the most stable, but again, early games, normally they're not shown in that light, however, <laughs> but it's cool that they're being open about this. And that's something I've noticed, especially with Need for Speed and now Test Drive, is they're just being open and honest about situations. For example, We'll get to the next one. The MMO at the heart of the TDU experience. Now, here's the thing. Test Drive has always had this MMO element. That's what Test Drive is. It's about the connected world in where I can interact with my friends and do everything with my friends and so on. While driving, you will always have other players around you, which creates a living, breathing city. In TDU, the love of cars is also experienced in the social aspects of dealerships and workshops where you can chat about your next purchase to carve your dreams and how you're going to customize it. I remember Test Drive Unlimited 2, it was a big event when I went to go buy a new car. I, I would tell my friend that basically I'm going to go do this I'm gonna go do, and he could come and check it out and maybe help me make that decision. I love those social aspects about the game and things like this is why I will always play this game online with other people where possible. With the Solo Hotel and the Clan HQs, they've created living areas and meeting spaces for various reasons. These social features require an infrastructure that is constantly connected to online databases, leaderboard, races, inventories, moderation, live events, anti-cheat measures, and the overall gameplay experience. An internet connection is therefore required to play TDUSC. So I'm going to be straight up honest. I don't like that it requires an internet connection. I do think that this could have been done differently. Test Drive Unlimited games in the past have always been able to play offline. So I'm playing online and then all of a sudden I switch and the servers are disconnected, but I can keep playing. They're, they're already talking about having server optimizations going on. And obviously they're doing some testing. There's more testing. You can actually keep, there's more to play a little bit later, but it does seem very possible that they could achieve an offline mode. It seems more of a case of maybe the anti-cheat section of it because they're going for a more sim cade handling model than most games today. I just, I, I can't justify it now, knowing that the crew is shut down when this game, like I wanna keep playing it after the server shut down. <laughs> we wanna find ways to get it back online like we have the previous Test Drive games when when the, the, the publishers have shut down the servers. Why shouldn't we be able to take the reins and play locally with our friends at the very least and things like that. So that's something I really hope that they can adjust in the future or that they absolutely promise promise to give us an offline patch and rather than just completely shutting down on the game one day because I, it's happened it's going to happen to the crew and i just don't want it to happen again especially if the game is really really great anyway they talk in this section about how the gameplay is basically finalized and they're now working to basically polish it up get it all sorted cars they also mention here that they actually take about four months to make a car, which is pretty cool. It's like, I think from what I know, that's about normal. It's actually a little bit faster than a lot of other places. Not that everyone creates the cars in house, but you know, but it's kind of cool to see the software of them building one of the cars we just saw in the trailer. I, I don't know. I really like stuff like that. I could never 3D model. 3D modeling is hard. I am very much a uh, function over 
how pretty it looks type of guy. They mentioned here that they're listening to feedback on our on Discord and their social media channels and things like that. But it, we definitely need to hammer home that I would like to play this game forever. <laughs> if if that could be possible, kind of would be ideal. Again, or a promise. Mm, yeah. Here they're talking about they know that we're eager about the release date, but they're getting there. They want to make sure that the server infrastructure and the game stability are there, optimizing performance, making sure it runs and getting very well on say like a Steam Deck, because if the game didn't run very well on a Steam Deck, which is quite low end hardware by comparison, that would alienate a lot of people. And again, maybe people with even worse hardware than that. So of course, the more people, the better. But they're taking the idea of taking more time rather than rushing it out of the gate and then fixing it because we've seen a lot of that recently so that's good and uh yeah that skyline is looking sexy so there you go that's our update on test drive limited solar crown i'm excited to jump in and get going but of course it's taking a little bit of time to do that and to be honest with you i'm willing to wait let me know your thoughts down below in the comments check out the other one ear what other one that one <laughs>